So hi guys. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to tell you um, about where I grew up uh, in Eckington. Um, so yeah, Eckington is a very small village. Um, it's an, an ex-mining village, to be honest. Um, got a few, you know, private estates. Uh, some very nice houses there. <coughs> <coughs> and a lot of council estates, you know. We're not... There's nothing good about Eckington whatsoever. It's a little fucking shit village, to be fair. But anyway, it's a very sought after area to live in, you know. You only get a fucking house if some cunt dies. No fucker moves out. Believe me, nobody. I don't know why. But anyway, so anyway, fast forward my life a little bit, but I will cover the past. Fast forward my life a little bit. I'm, I'm, um, I'm about 16, 17 now. And I'm on drugs. No, I'm 16. I was on, I'm on heroin. Now, heroin is kind of, you know, ooh, fucking hell, chasing the dragon, you know, but a Mary Jane. Oh, no, that didn't go off in Eckington. Well, it fucking does. It was fucking rife for it. Rife, mate. So, anyway, so I've ended up on drugs. And and guy, people that were just, like, a little bit older than me in the year above school, they were all doing it, all doing it. And I sort of ended up hang, getting in it finally finalising my groups and my gangs um with these you know so anyway i'm i'm, I'm using i'm using drugs um and obviously everybody's found out everybody's found out in time you know oh vicky saunders she's on drugs you know I, fucking hell i got banned from every fucking shop and every pub in eckington because i fucking went out with a fucking black man at 16 you know it was a fucking nightmare of a town uh, sorry a village jesus it went by so anyway you know I'm the fucking black man shagger. I'm the fucking drugger. I'm local drug dealer. I'm a fucking prostitute. That's it. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I went fucked from all them on their own. I'm certainly fucked from them all together, you know. So, yeah. So, when I got this house, um, I've got, I'm, you know, I, I'm clean now. I'm clean. I'm, I've been my son. Um, I've really sorted myself out. But it's still not forgotten. Because they don't forget in Eckington. They make you live it for the rest of your life. If you won't leave, they will fucking make sure you are hated. So anyway, so I've got a house and I knew, because of obviously nobody leaving Eckington, I knew that whoever was going to be my neighbour was going to be somebody I knew. It's inevitable. And it's more than highly probable there's going to be some fucker who hates me. Sorry, so let me have a pack. Like, instead of having a toast, yeah, like people do, you know, let's have a toast to all them past friends at Eckington. I'm going to have a pipe. Why do it? Oh, and I'm rattling right soon. I knew whoever was living in the house. I'm not put some heroin on. Um, whoever lived in the house was obviously going to be somebody I knew. And it's in now. It was this girl who I actually went to school with all through school, all through school, every school. She came to my children's birthday parties uh, when I was a child. I mean, in a little, uh, you know, pretty dress. With the little uh, bow socks and all that. Probably bought me a fucking shit toy and all. But anyway. So, she knew me. You know? Wow. Her husband, to top this put the icing on the cake, was a fucking local knobhead. And we all are. So it's not narrowing it down. So it's not like I'm fucking naming and shaming him yet. That bit, yeah, I will get to. <coughs> so he's a fucking local knobhead and all. One of them, who oh, fucking hell, he thinks he's fucking ten men in a fucking pub in Eckington. Jesus Christ. But you put him in a fucking a pub in Sheffield, he's a coward in the corner. You know, they get shaking when they do all the board, you know, never been out of Eckington. Chesterfield Forest, you know, it's where there was a venture, you know. So anyway, now his family lived around the corner from their mothers. And um, they thought they lived in fucking Bel Air, not a council estate, you know. 
So, them, the, these houses, we've been up in mining village. You know, pit houses. And they've all got, you know, um, coal sheds and that. Well, she put some, his parents put a bit of, a bit of fucking um, metal gating on, on, on fucking coal shed. You know, and fucking called it a balcony. Well, she was fucking brilliant. You can't ever get out there. Because they haven't put a fucking door on. You know, anyway. So I've got cop for these cunts next door. Well, oh my God. Fucking hell. Wow. Fuck me. Everything could fucking moan about they did. They have, white, they have parties. Best thing about it, he sold cocaine. You know, and they fucking want to moan about me. They've seen me being beat up, dragged by my hair into a car with a fucking axe. Never come out. Never come out. When my, other, when my fucking youngest baby dad, me and him, would fake like fuck. We'd batter each other, right? They fucking used to phone police then for being fucking noisy. Fucking idiots, right? They complain to the council all the time. Best thing about it, you hear that saying? Look in your own back garden. Well, you know what's in their back garden? A fucking conservator that had no permission to go there. And in front fucking garden were a fucking driveway that no curb had been lowered. Now, I know when you have your fucking pipe of climbing permission for your fucking drive, that has to be lowered. Nope, they didn't. No climbing permission. Now, I'm not a grass. But you don't start grassing on people for a fucking edge and garden maintenance when you've got two major, major structures <laughs> attached to your house. You know, it makes me laugh. Tell me what you think, guys. I can't drone on too much. I mean, I'm looking at the thing, it's going over six minutes now. Um, so... The next one, I'll call it part two, uh, part two Eckington. Shall we do that, that like that? So, yeah, guys, um, I will get to some more stories. See you soon.